Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing today? It's Kathy. I hope everyone's doing well. How was your Memorial Day weekend? Uh, we didn't travel. We didn't really go anywhere, do anything. Um, we stayed in New York. Uh, as you know, yesterday, if you're from this area, it was uh, kind of wild and windy, but um, the day before was good. Uh, my daughter and granddaughter came over, took my husband out to the driving range because it was his birthday yesterday, and um, they enjoyed some time over there, and I grilled up some hot dogs and hamburgers and um, just kind of impromptu, and um, they came back and we had dinner. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. As I said, um, we are getting through a whole bunch of birthdays. Everyone's doing well, but it's my husband's birthday, my grandson's birthday, my daughter's birthday. Um, my son's birthday is the 1st of June. My grandson's birthday was um, May 5th. My granddaughter's was April 29th. So the end of April, all of May, and the very beginning of June is all all birthday all the time around here <clears throat> but um, my granddaughter graduated from um, the Albany School of I believe it's called Health and Sciences she's now a she has a PhD so she um, can put doctor on her license plate she's going to be a pharmacist in um, the hospital in Albany uh, St. Peter's and she's looking forward to that and finding a place to live up there. She has to go up and get started um, late June. So uh, with the, uh, that being said, um, I'm very proud of my children and my grandchildren. Um, my grandson is in, uh, finished up his second year um, in State University and um, he worked four jobs while he was going to school. And they weren't all 20 or 40 hour jobs, but he, he had a lot of responsibility and um, he took care of it and the only thing that you ask for with your children and your grandchildren are as that uh, they grow up to be good and kind human beings that's all it takes good kind human beings and fortunately we've succeeded with the children and the grandchildren so that being said today we're going to make cornbread now I have you, everybody's heard of Jiffy, and I'm sure probably everybody's heard of this. I'm not sure if it's pronounced crustes or crustes, uh, but I've never used this before. I've used the Jiffy Mix, and Jiffy Mix to many people is um, one extreme or the other. Either they like it or they don't like it at all. They just don't think it has really any flavor. Now this, I noticed that um, you can make a... Um, couple of different recipes with. The particular one that I made calls for one package of the honey cornbread. You can do muffins also with this. And it also calls for one 14 ounce can of cream style corn. Now, I don't have a full can of cream style corn, but we're going to make it. Um, also, it calls for one half cup or one stick of butter that we're doing and one cup of sour cream. On that, we're going to use a half cup of sour cream and a half cup of whole milk. And one and two thirds, one to one and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese. Uh, you heat your oven to 350 and you mix everything together uh, and, and blend it. Um, this, there's, like I said, there's two different recipes. One of them calls for an egg and the other one doesn't. Um, I'm going to use an egg in this one. Um, I've never done it before, like I said, so Tom will tell whether I'm making a mistake or not, but I don't think I can go wrong using one egg because eggs are a binder. Um, so we're going to empty the mix into the bowl and we're going 
get. Pair of scissors. There. And then we're going to break our egg in. The egg um, is room temperature. That's pretty much the best way to do eggs, no matter what you're doing with them, um, is to do them room temperature. And I always break it into a, um, a cup or a bowl. I don't put it right into the mix and you know for obvious reasons if you get shells in them or by chance the, uh, the egg is spoiled. So I'm going to come on break that in there. around stir it and then we're going to melt one stick of butter in the microwave I cut it in four pieces so that it would just be a little bit easier to come out. Hit that for 30 seconds. In the meantime, I'm going to use the half cup of sour cream that I have. actually cups of um, cheddar cheese and I didn't have quite a half I have a little bit more than one cup Let's stir this in and I'm going to use a half cup of milk to replace the other half cup of sour cream he came in to watch. He's sitting on the floor here, but he's out of the view of the camera. Wipe my fingers off here. Uh, it's a half cup. So that was a half cup of milk and a half cup of sour cream rather than a whole cup of sour cream. I got my fingers all over the refrigerator. And we got our butter ready. These chairs have um, little rubber bottoms on them and they don't like to move so you kind of have to pick them up and move them. They don't slide easily. Okay, let's see. I've got the mix. Oh, and then we have um, one can of cream style corn to do. We did the um, butter, sour cream, and then the milk. And I have, it doesn't matter, Green Giant. This also calls for a full pan of um, corn, but um, again, I'm using a half can. I'll go over the directions again when I'm done, so it isn't, doesn't sound quite so confusing. You stir everything together. It's actually, you know, other than some utensils, it's a, uh, actually a um, one bowl mix. 
and the, the egg. I probably could have used something just a wee bit deeper, but then you wouldn't be able to see what was going on. So the weather today, after yesterday's all day rain, is on again, off again. You can see I'm sweating. Um, sunshine. I don't believe it's we're supposed to get any rain, but um, I have the windows open and fans on um, in the living room anyway, and because that's where we spend most most of our time. Um, and the temperature, usually what I do is wait until it gets to 80 in the house. I know it sounds like a lot, but as soon as it gets to, to that point, that's when I shut everything down and turn on the air. It just seems we're still in May and it just, I don't usually run an air conditioner in May. Let's get this stirred up. And the cooking time uh, is 350 degrees, 48 to 52 minutes. I'm putting it in um, my toaster oven because I don't want to put the, st the oven on. It's connected to the stove. So I'm going to do 50 minutes. Let's, let's see if so I can go over what we used. It was one box of the honey cornbread and um, a half can I used, you can use a whole can of the cream style corn, any brand. Um, a half cup, which is one stick of melted butter, a cup of sour cream. I didn't have a cup, I had a half cup, so I used a half cup of sour cream and a half cup of milk. I used one egg, which wasn't called for, and then you use um, one and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese. I use just a little over a full cup. Now you can also go as far as using jalapenos, green onions, chives, whatever you want to flavor it with other than what's on the recipe. But I'm going to go pretty much, I'm not changing as far as um, making it any more savory. And I'm going to go with it this way. Now I'm using a disposable pan. You can use a round pan. You can use um, this is what I'm using. You, you can also do it in the oven in a cast iron fry type pan. And you take the um, pan that you're using, spray it lightly, pour it in, Just take the pan to make sure that it's all settled and you just kind of tap it a couple of times and you can smooth out the top. And then it goes, like I said, in a 350 degree oven. I'm putting it in a toaster oven and you do it for, let's 
is 48 to 52 minutes. This particular oven, they're all different. I'm doing for 50 minutes. can't see it's right behind me, but I'm going to put the We're preheating to 350. And then, as they say, through the magic of videos, I'm going to Wipe my hands here and then we'll see that it is ready to come out. I wait like about 10 minutes to tip it out of the pan. It's still hot, not real hot. You know, obviously, as you can see, it's not too hot to touch. get a taste test. Oh, you heard that word taste test, didn't you? You gonna come over here? Come over here. Put your foot up here and say hello. No? Okay. Alright, they see you looking over the table. off the edge. Well, it has a nice crust on it. Very nice crust. Like I said, I've never used this before. So, this is it. Time will tell. Very crunchy. Very, very moist. I don't know how much different it would have tasted if I had had the full cup of sour cream, but it's very good. Very good. Do you want to try it? You've got your foot up on my lap like you're next. Okay, let's see. A little piece, okay. It kind of falls apart. Um, I guess that's a cornbread thing. What? Do you want this? Come up here. All right. There you go. Oh, that's a good boy. Did you like that? I guess so. You're looking for more. That's it for today, babe. You got to taste? You think you're supposed to have a taste of everything that comes to this table, don't you? Yes, you do. Come over here. Come over and say hello. Come here. Come here. Here, I'll give you another little piece if you come over and say hello. Do you want to say hello? Come here. Here. No? Okay. So, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do that. Oh, I see a face coming up. And um, I hope you have a great day. And don't get too warm. Stay kind of cool if you can. And uh, I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye now. Come on, Brady. Let's go for a walk.